Hi, I'm Father Chris. I belong to the Passionist community. Um, and uh, this is the genesis of my vocation. My vocation actually was, uh, unlike mo most vocations, is, was a sudden thing, something like a uh, conversion of St. Paul, if you like, as an example. And um, uh, when I was at school, and I was noticing that many of the young guys, older guys, better said, uh, didn't look very happy. So an idea came to my head, why did don't you become a priest to help young people be happy? And uh, immediately I balked at that because I was thinking of getting married, having a big family, and being a pilot. Um, so that sort of jarred me. And, and, but then I thought, uh, if everyone thought like that, where would the priest be? So I opened my heart and, and uh, I did a, 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 a sort of felt between the sword and the wall and I accepted. And as soon as I did this terrific joy uh, entered my heart. And I was literally very, um, let's say, moved and it was physically visible to my best friend. He said, hey, what's the matter with you? He said, I want to be a priest. And he says, what? Are you crazy? And I said, come on, man, you see tomorrow that idea would have gone. Well, the next morning, the, the, uh, the let's say the euphoria was gone, but not the idea. And I felt like there was like a new identity in me. And I felt if I didn't become a priest, I would be like denying my very self. Um, a few weeks later, a, a, a passionist priest who was the chaplain at the school uh, asked me what I thought was going to be when I'm old enough. And, uh, and uh, no priest had ever asked me that before. So I took this as a sign from God, now that this is where I uh, was uh, wanted, you know, within the Passionists. Uh, I knew something about the Passionists, uh, obviously, uh, before. Um, so I, I accepted, and, and what I noticed afterwards, over on hindsight, you see, I just noticed that the, uh, that the spirituality fit me very well, though, as I, had a devotion to Jesus on the cross along with the Sorrowful Mother. Every night I used to pray what I didn't know at the time was called Stabat Mater, no? uh, a very uh, traditional song within the church. And the English words start something like this, at the, at the uh, station her cross standing stood the mo mother um, at the cross, I forgot the words now, uh, close to Jesus to the last. No? So it's sort of contemplating Mary at the foot of the cross and our willingness you know, to share in, uh, with them in their suffering. You know. So I think that, that sense of sacrifice, of dying out of the love for us and sacrificing themselves was probably at the heart of me, my quick, prompt reply to say yes to my call because I knew it would be a sacrifice of love and uh, I was willing to do it. So that's the genesis of my, my vocation, and um, I'm very happy uh, that I responded yes, and I've had a very fulfilling life. I've been a missionary in India, in Africa, and Argentina, and Uruguay, different places, yeah.